These all counted among my people, the fearless ones. Otherwise, I knew them not. And by my great fortune, by design of the divine, Freddy was a kindred spirit of mine. Not just kin. He was no sociopath. He did not expect his wicked deeds to go unpunished. He was not free from responsibility. We both knew we would be accountable to the karmic cycle. We both had faith in our divinity. Freddy was tough as nails and would do what he had to do, but he sure felt the hangover and understood. No bad deed escapes karma. I often saw him come back from some unmentionable head hanging low, and I braided his hair and listened to his thoughts beating him up in his head and felt compassion well up in my heart for him. He would start saying to me in a low rumble of a voice but full of remorse, I'm a bad man, Aim. I am a bad man. No, you're not, I protested. Please stop calling yourself that, Freddy. I am, yes, I am. Freddy, I would pull a cornrow and insist. You are not a bad man. Maybe you've done some bad things, okay? But you got a real big heart, so stop it. Just stop, Freddy, please. And he would wait a minute. And then again. But I am a bad man. This time, instead of a cornrow, I went straight for his ear. Hey, tell me something, Freddy. Who was that guy who spent an entire afternoon here? carefully threading bubble gum out of my hair. He got quiet. Who was that, huh? Who? Okay, okay, it was me, he admitted. And not just because I insisted, because it was true.